Hey, what's up, y'all? It is Deltray. We are back with some more Final Fantasy Tactics 1.3. Last time, we rescued Agrios and attempted to do the same with Ovelia. However, it was revealed that Cardinal Dracula was a bad guy all along. He has her captive, and it is up to us to save her. I didn't actually get any chance to respond to any comments on the previous part because... There were some technical issues, right? That's why, that's why the whole double upload to begin with. Uh, that said, I did... <laughs> I did actually see a few requests for games and whatnot on this video specifically, and I wanted to respond to it in the tactics video because I I know that it was recommended because the two games are supposed to be similar, okay. But I see quite a few people asking if I've ever played Tactics Ogre or if I ever would play Tactics Ogre. Maybe <laughs> I, I would at the very least be willing to do like a let's try type thing. I don't know if I would do a full playthrough of it. I don't know anything about the game. That's the big thing. So I don't know if it would be entertaining the whole way through for everybody. I mean, I, I know that if you're a fan of a game, right, of course you want to see it get some love. That's why I'm doing this to begin with, right? And it's it's really fun for me to see people who haven't played this game before getting into it as well. So that's, that's really cool. So I understand the sentiment. But I definitely wouldn't be opposed to at least doing like a part of it or something like that sometime. But again, I don't know if I would do a full thing on it because I have no experience with the game. I have no idea if it would really click with me or not. But I saw that question often enough that I feel like I should probably answer it. Now today, we're going to wrap up back too. That's exactly what's going to happen, hopefully anyways, because the next map is the hardest one yet by far, in my opinion. You can make an argument for the execution site. That one's pretty tough, but... I, I've failed that one enough times to the point that I have sort of an idea of what I want to do when going into that, right? But this next one, man, oh man. I remember getting here the last time we played this forever ago. Uh, like, what was that? Like, two, three years now. Wow. That's crazy. <laughs> but I, I remember getting to this map at any rate and then losing several times over. And I honestly can't remember what it was that I did that finally let us pull through. Uh, but we, we are going to try with something like this. We have my G with the whole Magic Knight setup right now. He's going to be the first one to go, I think, because he has 8 speed, so he's pretty fast. I guess when we hit level 10 there, it bumped up his speed by a point, so that's good. We also have Muffin. She is... <laughs> what's there to say about her? Now, this one's a little bit weird. We're going to be dude as a marksman. And she has the Lava Bolt with red shoes with a chance to proc the Lava Ball effect and do an additional good amount of damage as well. Because that also would be boosted by the red shoes, because they boost fire attacks, as you can see. Uh, we have the green parameter just for an extra little bit of speed, and I taught her a few- whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I taught her a few abilities for Marksman. She's- she's got a lot of classes unlocked already, as you can see. I- I just now realized before this part that she's really close to Samurai, so that might be something that she does eventually. Because Samurai is pretty good for women as well, because it actually has really high magic. It has- the highest magic in the game tied with wizards so they can do a lot of damage with their draw out command but we don't have access to that quite yet i was almost thinking that we could maybe make it but she doesn't even have lancer unlocked at this point so i would need to grind at least two battles to pull that off so instead we're just going to do marksman she has time strike for the extra damage she also has stunning strike because there's going to be summoners on this next map or at least at least one summoner i can't remember if it's one or two but the ability to potentially interrupt their summon would be really nice. She has Heartache Strike because most enemies in this game are dudes. <laughs> so it's always a good ability to fall back on, especially if you can pull good compatibility or something like that. Uh, we have Butts, who is still Butts. <laughs> I know he's been a monk for most of this chapter, but honestly, it is just that good. It really is. Uh, yeah, I don't really know what else I was doing with him. I haven't really taken him on propositions or anything like that, maybe in the future. Now with Volanis. We're getting a little bit more creative. We have the Equip Spear Jump set up. Because these are pretty fast naturally. And they're actually not that weak. He has 8 attack power with the headgear, so that's pretty decent. That said, though... That said, I'm not sure how great it's going to be. It's not at its full potential, though, because I was only able to pick up Equip Spear from propositions. Couldn't actually get any range increasers, which would be nice. Uh, when you're going for these, though... Just be aware that they don't, like, they don't add to one another, right? So if I pick up range 4, that's going to let me jump 4 tiles. But if I have range 6, that's going to let me jump 6 tiles, for example. I don't get, like, 10 tiles or something like that. So these abilities are just strict upgrades. The really nice thing about Lancers to 1.3, though, is that their default jump range uh, commands have been reduced significantly in JP cost. You can see range 4 costs 50, vertical 5 costs 50. 
So for 100 points, I can have a very good Lancer just like that. As opposed to in the original game where even the most basic jump skill was a fair bit of JP, as I recall. It's been a while to be honest, but I, I remember being well over 50, that's for sure. Other than that, Lancers also have that Dragon Spear command that we've seen. When you get hit, you get the re-raise status. So this is a very, very solid reaction command. Because re-raise is just so nice sometimes. There's going to be situations where you're not going to be able to prevent a character from dying, but if they don't die in one hit, you could potentially take the damage, get the re-raise, and then come back as if you never died at all. Like, you, do you don't lose your turn that way, basically. Albeit you wouldn't have a lot of HP <laughs> remaining, of course, but... Just the mere fact that you can preserve a turn like that is pretty huge. They also have Ignore Height, which is very niche. <laughs> there are better movement abilities for sure. Teleport, Fly, I think they're both better to be honest. But as far as the jumping abilities, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Also the Jump Command, I don't, I don't think I said this because we haven't really had a Lancer yet. But the Jump Command deals bonus damage when you have a Spear. So if I can jump somebody with Volanus, he can do well over 100 damage. Well over 100 damage. And he has CT save as well. I think we picked that up last time from one of those crystals. But if he gets hit, he's going to immediately get his turn. At least in the first round. After that, it's like, it's still good though because he gets 20 CT. And that's going to help us manipulate jumps. Now, something that I, I really should have shown this. But if you move your cursor past Lionel Castle and try to go back to, say, Door to Trade City or something like that, you totally can the only time that you are forced to do this fight is if you land directly on Lionel Castle intentionally. So if you need to go back to a castle town or something like that, buy some new gear, whatever, which is exactly what I did, that's why I have the Lava Bolt now. But if you go back to a previous area, you don't have to worry you can just pass right through it. That said, <laughs> we still might get Stonewalled because this map is hard. Really, really hard. Now we still do have my Jesus Squire, like I say. And we've got to be careful with this right here. Now, this is a back attack. Yeah, this map is a back attack. Not that, not that you would know that on your first time through, but... But Muffin and uh, Dude are actually in the back lines. I do remember that. Every Final Fantasy game has one, though, right? There's always one boss that is a back attack. And this would be... <laughs> that would be this, right here. At the gates of Lionel Castle. So this map is going to be ridiculous, I assure you. I'm not even sure we can survive the first round. This is very much a scouting run for me because I do not know exactly what's going to happen. There's a lot of different things that could happen. <laughs> well, first of all, I didn't want... Damn, I didn't want Muffin on the right-hand side. I wanted her where Dude is actually... Oh my god, I'm skipping through the... T oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Bad habit. Damn! I mean, that about sums it up, though. My G... It's me you must fight with. On guard! Alright, Gap Gary, and I've had about enough of your shit. <laughs> My bad. I, I'm just so shook by this map. I just really want to get in as many attempts as I can because I really doubt that I'm going to win on the first time. I really, really do. Now, what I could do is actually yell somebody down here. Oh, no, I can't. If I had time magic. Hmm, maybe I want time magic, but the reason I have yell is so that my G can haste himself. As you can see, he's blocked off in the rest of our group. He's got to be the one to 1v1 Gav Gary on here. Now, we should still be out of his range. Looks like he has teleport. He cannot hit us with a night sword or anything like that, though. Well, he can hit, he can hit Muffin, but he can't hit my G, which is the bigger part. That's the bigger issue, because if he dies, we cannot really pick him back up. I think that we have a life spell on Muffin, but if we don't, then he'd be basically done for. He'd be basically done for if he went down. Now, here comes a Heartache Strike. Oh, no, Curse Strike. This is good. This is good. I thought he would go for the Heartache Strike for sure. But I'll take a Poison. That's not too bad. That's definitely not too bad. He could have done way nastier things. Like, if he would have got a Charm on Muffin or something like that, oh my god, it would be over. Oh, here comes the Heartache Strike. But it, since they're Focus Firing her so much, I can literally Stigma Magic that away. And I might. There's a good Counter Throw. That's what we want. Now, that guy has equip armor, it looks like. And she still came up right now. Despite the slow. Yeah, despite the fact that she just got slowed. Now, we can heartache strike, maybe? Is there somebody we have good with? Now, we're a Scorpio, so we're looking for, like, a Tauros. Is Virgo good? I can't remember if she's in on that. No, she's not. Like I say, our party is set up to be good compatibility with certain signs, but... 
Now here's a good shot. We can heartache strike this guy for sure. That might be something. Oh my god, Muffin can probably kill him because we have best on him. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, I can kind of see a move here. I can kind of see a move here when Bolanis comes up because Muffin should still get her go. Yeah, she does. Cool, cool. I just want to see if there's a meaningful target here. Oh, here we go. Here we go. This is what we do. Yeah, that's best compatibility. We're taking this guy. We're hard ink striking. No, we're not. Damn it. <laughs> She's too far away. Help. If anything, I want to lock in these Geomancers. No lie. I want to lock him in. Oh. Oh, wow. Look at that. Here we go. 93% chance. We got the slow. That could be so much better. That could have been way better. <laughs> Here's what we do, though. I'm telling you, this right here is the play. We do that, we get the hell out of here. Ooh, we don't want to run into his range, though, because... Hmm. No, we move her to the corner. Yep, we move her to the corner. That's in range of only one elemental. No, this is the best possible way, so we'll go for an Earth Slash 72%. Come on now. Golly, why is my luck so trash? Trash! Because I'm so sure I could have killed him. I'm so sure I could have killed him. I think I just I think I just killed myself, no lie. Because of that. On the bright side though. If we somehow survive, like that's that's that pretty much. Why did I attack there? See now I'm throwing. There was no reason to attack that guy because he would have died to the Leviathan. If he chooses to attack Milanus. Huh. Well, my G is good to go right here. And these guys can't really get all that close because if they do, they're going to die. Of course, we just gave them a nice three-piece. I don't really care what happens to him. I'll be honest. I think he's going to die regardless. The only question... Oh, they have good compatibility. Oh, that, that was never going to work then. That was never going to... Oh! Maybe it will. Unless we get, like, stop chained or something, as we do, naturally. <sighs> well, hmm. I don't know how this is going to go. I really don't. And neither does this summoner, apparently. Oh, this is going to go very poorly. That's how this is going to go. I guess that should have been a larger consideration here. So I get two, but it's not going to matter because I'm going to die <laughs> horribly. Horribly. Oh, man. I thought it was flames, but I guess not. I guess not. Although that slow on that Geomancer did actually let us kill him, so that's good, if nothing else. Oh man, she's a little bit too weak here as well. Hmm. He just has Cyclops. So, uh, needless to say, we lose here, <laughs> without a doubt. Without any doubt in my mind, that's a GG. Yeah, he stopped. Uh, let's just go ahead and assume that we've lost. <laughs> well, since we missed this the first time because I'm dumb, <laughs> what we're doing here is sneaking into the castle. And as we saw in that cutscene prior to this, there is a switch that we can hit with my G. Wait there, I'll open the gate. Not so fast! You got in alright, but didn't notice an ambush. I noticed alright, believe me, I noticed. I saw how quick that last battle was. I don't know about you guys, but goddamn. <laughs> yeah, exactly, my G. Damn. Alright, alright, alright. So I think what we did wrong there was we wasted a lot of actions for no reason. For no reason at all. What is unfortunate is that I can't, like, I can't throw a yell down to the rest of my guys. This part seemed to work out pretty well, though. I think, if anything, we want to go even further away, though, right? Because we saw he's going to teleport into range of my Mjolnir. What? What is he doing? Huh, he didn't even go for me this time. I did change the deployment a little bit, but, hmm. Now this could be bad, but we don't need her immediately. Not really, oh, that's horrible. Why confuse, <laughs> why confuse? Oh no, I hate that ability. What is he doing? He can hit my G somehow, or what? Oh, well, I lost right there. There was nothing I could do about that other than not get hit by a 33. But yeah, because she can just Leviathan me. <laughs> she has good compatibility with me. So I guess uh, the lesson here is to not be unlucky. <laughs> I guess. 
I don't know, man. What was I supposed to do? What was I supposed to do other than not get blown away by my own shenanigans? The only thing that I could do is kill her, I guess. But that's so much time lost that surely they can just drop me instantly. What I have realized, though, is that I can kill the summoner immediately. Okay, let's see if my G dies, I guess. <laughs> Because I can, I can Earth Slash, right? And I'm so sure that a nice spear to the... Okay, and we're going to miss a 95. Do I... Uh, <laughs> really? <laughs> How much you want to bet I do at least the amount that that would be needed? I should... Do I have... Does he have defense up? He does, doesn't he? Or am I just bad with this guy? Okay, yeah, they were both bad with him. That would explain why we can't do crap. Okay, well, I was never coming back from that the second that I got confused and charmed and killed by my own spell. Because they have good compatibility with each other. No, no, no. I'm calling a mulligan on that. That's bullshit. <laughs> I can't possibly win. Man, you know, I was really hoping to finish this act today, but if we're going to have this kind of luck... Ooh, I don't know. If nothing else, this map is not long at all. It's just... It's just insane. That's all. <laughs> That's the only issue here. It's just batshit crazy. Uh, what I might actually end up doing is changing over to a time mage because I could definitely sling it. I, I could sling a haste down to the rest of my group on the first turn. But the problem is that it's gonna be way harder to kill Gav Garion. And he has, yeah, he has martial arts this time. But it shouldn't matter like at all. If anything, that's preferable because that. That means he's spending his CT. And he can't, like, mind break me or anything like that, so that could be better. Now, I put Butts in such a position that even if both the girls get disabled on the first turn, he can stick with magic both of them at the same time. The only problem is that, for some reason, the game randomly decides whether or not he or Muffin will go first. Like, does Butts go right here without do losing your turn, or what? Because... I mean, maybe, I, I, I'm not 100% on how that works. I have to be perfectly honest. What I do know, though, is that unless this guy has, of course, he has good compatibility. Uh, but he can't kill me in a single. There's no way. Well. That is still the way. Without a doubt. Elemental is broken. <laughs> It truly is. Well, we're gonna chill. We have to. And we didn't we didn't miss our turn though. So I can bring you back. I have I kinda have to. Like I can't just let her be sleeping like that. I feel. This is the spot, yeah. We'll move here. We'll move here. We'll attack this guy. As long as I can hit him for once. Oh, but that actually dropped him into crit. That was that was lucky. That's not I, I didn't think he would. For some reason oh he has Virgo, that would be why. I should have paid more attention to that. I was expecting an 80 to come out there, not a 100. But he had good compatibility. Yeah, that was that was lucky. In fact, oh my god, we have good on all of these guys, or most of them. Now, all he should have is class evade, right? Yeah, he's only got a 10 dodge on me. Man, that was lucky as hell. Right here. Should have spread out more. Why does he have slightly more? That doesn't make sense. Well, we can kill that guy anyways. Why did that do no damage? I didn't forget the red shoes, did I? That should have done more. 42 should be how much it does by default. Something weird's going on. Hold on. Now, screw you, Eddie. He's just going to murder me, no doubt. Here comes just a quicksand. Okay. That's way better than anything. Oh, I say that. Oh, death sentence. That's actually great for me. They're going to ignore her. Oh, so attack up and magic attack up both affect both affect Geomancy, I take it. Cause that's Scorpio to Scorpio, that's neutral, so. Did I forget the red shoes? No, why did that do 42? 42 is how much it should just do. Is this really not a fire elemental or what? Because it says right there, strength and fire. Oh, that is lame. That is ultra lame. Why? <laughs> Fix your game, goddamn! <laughs> so there's no way this kills me in a single hit. No, there. Oh, oh, that might kill me in a single hit. Wait, <laughs> that might kill butts. Oh, goddamn it! And for some reason, I didn't give him counter, despite the fact that he has it. I guess I'm trash. Here comes Malcolm. We force him to the left, though, and that's what I was worried about. 
because that should mean he can't really do too much to uh too much to muffin there. This will kill one uh one archer. I hope that's not the equipped armor guy, so he should die. And that hopefully gives us enough breathing room here to start making some moves. Because we didn't move Muffin. She's going to come up next. The first guy used his turn to do a full life on a guy who already missed his turn. Hmm, it's going to be close. It's going to be close for sure. And he is not back. He missed. Amazing. This is going to hurt like hell. Shouldn't kill, but it's going to be so close. Now my G, can I, like, what's, what's your, oh, it's worst, it's worst, come on, what are the chances, man, what about you, can I get over to you, probably not, yeah, this is the spot right here, we throw a blizzard right here, with my G, this goes through, because of the haste out himself, Leviathan, how you looking, only two, wow, she's getting these off so fast now that I honestly can't do that move, 100 damage right there. Uh, we're going to focus on killing the summoner because he is incredibly sketch. <laughs> but I guess who's Valentine? That's Valentine right there. But Valentine is dude, my G. Okay, so maybe we actually, in reality, do something kind of strange here and use our white mage to heal. Because if I bring. Yeah, I need to bring Butts back. He cannot die here. That would be awful. That would be just awful. Can't let it happen. No way. So we can Blizzard. It's going to leave the Summoner low enough at any rate. It should do good to the Geo as well. Yeah, that's pretty good. Pretty good. We even got a slow on that guy who was about to go, so maybe now we outturn him. Because it was going to be Gap Gary on first. And if we can outturn him, then we can at least drop somebody before uh, the Archer becomes a problem. A little bit fortunate that that full life didn't go through, but again, he wasn't going to get his turn no matter what. Now, this could be a little bit questionable. We got to rehaste ourselves for sure. And we got to make it past Gav Garyon. Oh, he's missed. He missed. Yes. We do actually outturn him. Cool. Uh, so, if you outturn him, so do you. Great. Great, great. We're actually gaining some control here. And we're going to go for a chakra naturally. Yeah, that seems like the best bet. Keep her topped off on MP. Bring ourselves back a little as well. So now we should not be able to die without having to take another time strike or something like that. We drop the Geo. No, 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 no. We dropped the summon. Oh, I can't reach? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, why do I keep forgetting that he has arrow guard? What is wrong with me? <laughs> why am I letting this guy be such a threat? I could have killed him. Maybe I still can. We're going to find out real quick. Oh, God bless. <laughs> you die. You die now. And this would be the spot for you. Again, they're just going to ignore her because she's going to die anyways. Ooh, that's a little risky. But we should go for this. Yes! Oh, <laughs> are we going to do this? Oh, man, but we need my G to not, to not die. <laughs> he needs to not fall over to Gaffy. That's a really big part of this. And he's really strong. Well, actually, he's weak as hell. What happened to you? Okay, this is certainly a consideration because he was way the hell stronger last time we saw him. Wasn't he? There's no way he had five attack. What's going on? Oh, my God. Maybe he really is Tita. Yeah, why are, his, why are his stats so bad? When he was a guest, he was way better. He had at least seven or eight when he was a guest must be that uh, this Dark Knight is a different class or something. Now, we are going to have to hit that switch, no doubt. He has CG save, so we're not touching him. No way. I'm going to do a cheer up on myself to give myself some regen in case Gap Garyon gets a little bit out of hand. Maybe he gets a crit or something like that. That would not be good. But with the regen, that should keep us healthy enough. Valentine is slowed. He can't do anything particularly dangerous. Although he is very bulky. Very, very bulky. Uh, now, I guess it just comes down to what? Oh, man. That's more like it. After that, after that, it's where we got charmed and confused. And little Leviathan out the game immediately. Uh, I definitely think I deserve this. Here comes the time strike. Probably going to drop me, but we can bring him back. We can bring him back. Eventually. 
I do need to kill this guy though, because he's getting out of hand. <laughs> you gotta stop, my man. You gotta stop. Oh, hey, right there. And it instantly resolves. Cool. Cool, so we can kill these two. Uh, yeah, we gotta... Ooh, that could be very close. We gotta get you on over to... Uh, butts, I mean. We gotta get her over to butts. And honestly, this is looking like a done deal. Finally. <laughs> oh, my God. So this could have gone a lot worse, obviously. Oh, certainly. I don't think that it mattered that we dodged the HP restore on the first Geo, necessarily. Uh, he still couldn't really do too, too much to me, and he had to stay the hell away because of the Leviathan. But, I'm not going to act like I don't appreciate it, that's for sure. Uh, can we get this yell through? No, we can't, because here comes Gaffy. I don't want to get caught mid-charge. Well, honestly, he can't one-shot me, even if he did. We just saw he's, he's like, piss weak, dude. Very strange, but I'll I'll just take the hit. We're going to heal back anyways, thanks to Jirup. Now, unless he somehow blocks the switch, which he can't because, again, the AI uses teleport very strangely. Uh, we can tank this head-on. Can't believe how little he does. <laughs> and honestly, we can just jump this guy if we need to. Do we need to? Yes, we do. And there we go. So we're going to drop him. The counter doesn't go until after my next turn, I'm fairly sure. But even then, my G is going to hit the switch right here. And he does have Wish. We can get over to Butts. Although it's going to be really... It's going to be a lot closer than I would like. Okay, I'll say that. Without a doubt. I think so. Don't see why not. Yeah, I really don't see why not. So we'll start throwing out Spirit Surges to him. Drop this guy. Jump can't miss, by the way. So, even, like, even if I didn't have Concentrate, it still would not be able to miss. Now, you go here, you end your turn, and you hit the switch. But push this lever. And by push, he means punch. <laughs> God damn, my G. Is that, how you, is that how you operate? He just goes around punching things like, oh, this pickle jar is <laughs> stuck too tight. He just punches the lid. God, this guy is aggressive. No need for any of that. But what we do need to do is nail Gafgarion right here. Now the unfortunate part is that Gafgarion does automatically turn into a crystal when he's defeated. So uh, you can always get the skills off him, basically. I think he has maintenance, though. So you can't steal any of his items or anything. You have to legitimately either be able to 1v1 him or uh, get my G down to the lever. Those are really your... Oh, oh, no. Oh, god damn it. No, 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 no. No, no, no. We got to kill this guy. We got to kill this guy. I don't think I'm in range with my G, and he just got slowed. Oh, we gotta drop Gavgarion now. No time for crystals. We gotta book it. Oh my god, really? I didn't think that's how Destiny would work, man. <laughs> Are you on one still or zero? Please be on one. Please be on one. Oh god, please be on one. Okay, cool. I can maybe catch him. I can maybe catch him. Actually, if I just... Okay, phew. Okay, I'm, I'm tweaking. I'm tweaking, guys. I just need to yell myself. And then we're good. <laughs> we have enough for one more Spirit Surge. So he's already half dead as is. Maybe I shouldn't have done this though, because he could possibly get a turn now. But he cannot prevent me from going for one wish, at least. Nice 95. Man, the RNG in this game. You guys thought that was a joke? Oh, no, no, no. We're going to pick up butts. Hopefully. 94. Come on now. We'll have one more chance regardless. There we go. Okay, now we're good. Even if we get redropped, that's fine. We probably will, in all honesty, but I do not mind. We'll just wait right there, and we'll, we'll actually lock him in. Seems to... Oh, no, 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 right over here. I'm honestly going to move my G in just so I can yell at Muffin so she can get herself back in, uh, the, in the event of that summoner crystal going through. Because it would be really nice if she was a kick-ass summoner. He has teleport. Why am I trying to block him? <laughs> Am I new? Yeah, he's really only attacking my G. So I guess he is set to just duel you. I and mean, I think he has concentrate this time, not maintenance. Because it looked like he had 100%, and his attack could definitely miss. And he's basically spent on MP. Now, he does have a uh, Dark Sword. Hey, sweet, Summoner Crystal. Yeah, he does have the Dark Sword skill, which would let him recover uh, some of his MP. But, who cares, man? Now let's go here, get attack up, hopefully. Oh, 
here we go. Spin fist, wave fist. There we go. There we go. That's more like it. And he's got basically uh, every Geomancer skill that he could possibly want. I guess I guess that's something else to think about. You do technically have the chance to get any abilities from classes that are required to unlock that class. So you saw I just got some monk skills there despite the fact that that Geomancer didn't have a punch art. But because you need to be a certain level as a monk in order to even be a Geomancer, I think it's... How does it say from here? No, it doesn't say from here, but trust me, you need to be a certain level as a monk to even have that as a class. So, in that sense, it could be a good idea to keep that sort of thing in mind when you're deciding how to do crystals. Like, for example, that summoner technically has a decent shot to give me some, like, time magic or something like that. Okay, that's a little sketchy. Oh, god damn it. We're getting butts back over here immediately. Immediately. Yeah, see, like that, we got some time magic there. He didn't have it equipped, but... I mean, we have two chances. We can hit We can hit her with the wish, or we can hit her with... God damn it, no. 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 No, send help. Leather mantle. Come on, man. They have good... I don't have... Okay, well... Now I'm just all shook. I have feet... I have item. Oh, ho. Oh. Oh, god damn it. I was like, I know he can revive somehow, but I was tweaking. I thought he had the revive skill. No, he has the revive. He, he has revival, though, basically. Oh my god, that was awful. <laughs> Butts already picked up everything that I care about, really. Oh, yeah, here we go. That's more like it. Yeah, now she can actually contribute as a monk a little bit. Let's just send Bets over for that last crystal. We got away with a lot of those this time, I have to say. He's so close to death, honestly, it just doesn't matter. If he moves out from under that thing, I can just jump him and the battle will be over. Of course he has to get one last bullshit thing in before we finish that. Wow, God damn it, Gif, carry on. I'm gonna enjoy this. I don't think I'm underneath the, oh, maybe I am. Did he, did he block me? He did. <laughs> yeah, so if you're underneath an object like this, you can't jump, naturally. We also can't miss him though, so have fun with your six HP. He does get CG save, but whatever. We've got so many people over here. There's no way. There's actually no way. Well, really, there's only one way that this could end, right? So let's go ahead. Wait, wait. Get the crystal. Like so. Let's see some good stuff here. Yeah, that's very helpful, actually. All of that is very useful. I'll take every single one of those. <laughs> oh, my God. Did you see his arms? He turned into Grimace for a second. What happened? <laughs> 1.3 is a little bit buggy sometimes with that. But... I'm gonna enjoy this. You broke my sword. Die. And that is that. Ugh, is this the end? Goodbye, asshole. And down he goes. And like I said, he always turns into a crystal no matter what. We must save the princess before reinforcements arrive. Oh, no, 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 my G. It's not one of those games. But, <laughs> God. This battle is so brutally difficult. This is the first one that I would really qualify as outright insane. Oh, the game actually straight up gives you two defense rings before this uh, before this map. How very considerate, because I do want those. Yeah, I definitely want those. Okay, so just as a heads up for anybody playing this game the first time, whenever the game asks you if you want to save, never, ever, ever in a million years use the same slot. Ever. Ever. <laughs> Pro tip. Because... We have a sequential battle here. We have to do another one without being able to do anything. And if you go into that, and you save over your only save file, and you can't beat the map, then you are soft locked. Straight up. So, keep that in mind. Okay, I think we're gonna try something like this. We're gonna have Butts as a marksman with battle skill. Equip armor. We still want somebody who's pretty beefy here. A few characters, in fact, which is why Dude is not gonna be doing the whole punch art thing for us. She has a defense ring at this point. Because I do not want to get put to sleep with everybody at first. And I was just a little bit away from getting holy on nothing. Man, oh man, if I would have had that, I'd probably be using short charge holies here. But instead, I'm going to be doing magic attack up. And then we'll see what we can get, basically. Uh, my G pretty fast himself. I could buy a soon on him, but I don't want to. Instead, you know what? I'll give him a defense ring too, so that, that way he can just whack people with a stab. I honestly want to say that this battle is easier than the previous one, if you come prepared. Hopefully we have done just that. Man, the deployment zone here blows. 
I have to say that first and foremost. Because this basically forces... It basically forces us to give him an AoE immediately. Unless we outturn him. I'm not sure if he has more than 8 speed. I imagine that he does have at least that. But, here we go. For inside Lionel Castle. The Act 2 finale. Listen to this music, by the way. <laughs> Tell me this isn't the most intense thing you've ever heard. Now, is my G actually going to stay right there? Because if so, that can help us. Gavgarion is not as good as he says. Or was it bad luck? Well, a little bit of both if we're being honest with each other. Anyhow, you're good. You have Bayol blood in your veins. Even if you are a bastard. Geez, getting a little personal here, aren't we? But I don't need your interference anymore. Leave the stone here. If you resist, I'll show no mercy. Where is Princess Sylvelia? Why must you save her? You deserted the Bayolves. What can you change by yourself? Don't waste energy. Without power, nothing can be achieved. You're powerless. Where's the princess? She's not here. She left for Zeltenia. She chose our help over yours. That's a lie. She has begun to think for herself. She felt unsure of you and chose us for obvious reasons to take the throne. Why don't you join us? You want to get the best of your brother's sales, right? We care about the world too. How about it? I don't want to change the world. So it'd be so cool here if there was actually a choice, right? Like, if you could actually choose to side with these guys, that would be awesome. I almost kind of wish they would have added something like that to the remake, but I understand that would basically mean making an entire new game from this point on, to be honest. But hey, that would be pretty neat, I'll say that. I just can't allow people to suffer and die because of some elitist's ideas. Change the world. Yeah, see, nobody likes elitists. Keep that in mind. You think anyone really can? I'm not that reckless. Ha ha ha. You're the one holding the stone. You can change not only the world, but the truth of everything with its power. Since you don't seem to understand, let me show you. No, don't show me. Don't show me, man. I already know. No demonstration needed. Oh, God damn it. I'm actually really glad the audio isn't glitching out, because <laughs> this emulator does not really like Final Fantasy Tactics. Yeah, how about that? Surprise. Now let me have my fun. Let me hear your screams and suffering death cries. No, 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 none of that. None of that. So it turns out that the stones actually do have power. And not only that, but their power is the exact opposite of what the stories tell. Because, as you'll recall, it's supposed to call forth, like, the olden heroes from, like, times gone by or whatever. Nope, nope, nope. It actually calls forth demons. <laughs> we all tank. We all just barely tank. Good God. So that's what I was afraid of, first of all. Okay, and I also love this boss theme. This is just one of the most intimidating. <laughs> it's such an intimidating track, I'm not going to lie. Uh, what we want to do, we want to mind ruin. No, mind break or whatever. Yeah, we want to do this at any rate. And we want to break his magic, like, once, maybe twice. Twice at the most. Let's see if we get it. I need this to go through eventually. Oh, this is going to be really sketchy. We have to come all the way back. We need to fully heal ourselves, because he will drop us super, super quickly. It's absurd. Is this the power of the stone? Isn't the stone for destroying evil power? But if that's true, then the Cardinal's evil itself. This is the power of Lukavi, who once ruled the world. Yeah, I, I got that. Thank you. <laughs> Lukavi, who are you? Where's the real Draklau? Where? Yeah, what do you mean? I'm Draklau. No, or should I say I was? I surpassed fragile humans by using the stone's power. I became God. Those who interfere must die. But not me, though, hopefully. Uh, <laughs> I think we need to throw up a rejuvenate. Have to. I need these guys all the way back. We missed, and I don't think I have another battle skiller. I think it was just him. Yeah, because I'm too afraid, because I need I need revival too. And I have Belanus here just because he's got some damage. We can even take a shot at him. What we want to do... Something like this. Now, he attacked here. Did it have a range of two or three? I should have really been watching that. If it had a range of three, we can kite him a little bit. 
It's free to attack him here. That's still 93 damage. Oh, we lived on one. Oh, <laughs> that is some luck right there. That is some good luck right there. We're going to move over here, though. I don't know if we necessarily should be moving like that, but we need to spread out without a doubt. And we also need to make sure that we're staying on even footing with at least one other tile so that that way I can hit the old stigma magic if I need to. Now, of course, uh, that's not necessarily true for butts. Oh, he doesn't have the... Oh, yes, it was. It was true for him. I thought for some reason that we still had him on the dang. I thought we had him on the defense ring still, basically. Am I going to catch this rejuvenate or what? I will, but I yeah, I really don't want to let him hit all of my guys like that because that's going to hurt my offense. We need to do damage, too. But if I don't catch this, then... Oh, man. How about right here? I'm pretty sure it's not a 3x3. Three three. Or, you know what I mean. I don't think that it can hit me if I'm standing there. And I can still catch the Rejuvenate. We can get 100 damage right here, but that's basically nothing. This guy has so much health in this version. In the original version, he had about 400. Now we're looking at about 12, I want to say. At least. At least 1,200. Possibly more. It scales massively with your level. So right now, I th like I said, I think he has about 1,200 or so. I'm just gonna chill. I'm gonna chill because if I start charging, he can walk up to me and just punch me and I will die. <laughs> Which he might be able to just do anyways. Oh god, he can't hit from there. Yeah, this dark bio is so nasty. It can also add death sentence, I think. Which it hasn't done yet, thankfully. Okay, good. We need to get this guy. We need to. And we, we should even have... Oh no, do we have worst? He's the Scorpio boss. We might actually... Oh no, that was not the... This was not the way. Somebody else should have been my battle skiller. Because this is necessary. I need to do this, otherwise he can just do too much damage. Come on, I think I missed again. Yep. <laughs> Man, at least we can still rejuvenate ourselves from this position, and he can't actually drop us. I don't think we're losing health. No, not fast enough, anyways. And as you can see... As you can see, we're, we can still do some good damage and all, but... Oh, man. How much you want to bet I can get a jump off here? I'll bet I can, but if I do, I need to move because I don't want to give him four of us. Because I can't rejuvenate forever. Yeah, I should have moved just then thinking about it, but here's 60. And we're doing okay, but... Damn, I really need to break his I need to break his stats like nothing else. This jump should go through as it does. We can just bring everybody back, wait in place. I should be watching more closely to that dark bio though. Does dark bio level is it level one? I think it just says dark bio one. And if either Brock's death sentence or dead. If it procs dead, this is a huge misplay because I should not be letting him fist for three at a time. I think it might be death sentence though. But not only do we need to magic break him, but we're also going to get... He's going to get a four-piece here. Probably, yeah. It does proc dead, so we're screwing up in a huge way. We're just going to let him get this, possibly. Not my G. Nobody. Wow, that's that's lucky. Wasn't necessarily counting on that. We still have some revival going, though. What I am counting on is hitting this gold dirt magic rune so that it stops doing that much damage. Oh, I'm out? I'm spent. So that means that my next best move start mocking striking him because we also need to break his uh, we need to break his brave because he has critical quick which will let him instantly take his action the second we drop him into critical health man yeah I should shoot if I failed this for some reason which I very well could because of the whole critical quick thing but if I fail I'm switching uh, butts and dude because they both have access to the same skills here the same major ones anyways we can throw out a chakra. And at least get some MP back. Because we kind of have to. You should still tank one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we can do this again. I can't let him go after Volanus, though. Can't do it. Can't do it. We're going to move over to this side, actually. Because we can, we can prevent him from getting too many of us in here now. Nope, it has to be a rejuvenate. Has to be every single time. Man, if I could have broken his magic. I I think we want to stay on the offensive. 
I do. If we give him critical quick, the oh, mm, okay, good, 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 good. So now we're up to like 400 or so at least. So maybe about a third of the way done, but it's just like, ugh. And the really big bastard move about these Lukavi bosses is that you cannot see their stats at all. I have no idea how much speed he has. I have no idea how much HP he has or MP. I have no idea what his CD currently is. We just have to kind of, we just kind of have to feel it out, honestly. And this is just so sketchy because every time he does this, it's a 20% chance. Okay, none. Nobody. So we are definitely lucking out on that front, without a doubt. Now I can try one more time to mind break him, but... Why did it suddenly become worse? Oh, evasion, probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we get behind him. We get behind him. Have to. This will still be even footing. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Please now. Come on, 50. All these coin flips. Okay, there we go. <laughs> did you see that arrow flying around at the bottom of the screen? Nice little glitch there. I don't think you could get this ability in the original game, so that's probably why. Now, do I bring myself back? Yeah, he can still reach. Never mind. I was thinking I could somehow block him from being able to throw out more attacks like that. But what we can do, we heal everybody back. We heal everybody back. And do I have shell? I do have shell. So here's what we do. We buff up this entire squad. Now we can take two. Now we can take two. And so can all of the rest of my characters as well. And, I mean, we can take two with these squishier units, basically. Which is the important thing. Of course, he can still proc dead. But, after that magic break, he might honestly just start punching us. Which is, it's not the ideal outcome, to say the least. Let's, oh, I can't even jump there. Oh, right, I have no vertical tolerance yet. <laughs> That's my own fault, though. That's my own fault. We can get a lot of Thief JP on this map, though, in theory, because the Lannis can still do a nice 60. Yeah, we'll move here. Don't let him get more than two at a time at this point. Is he going to start punching? Yes, he is. But at least I get CT saved, so now I can actually jump on him. I probably will. And we also want to break his brain. That's really important. Like, I, I have to do this one. Otherwise, I risk getting myself killed very, very easily. Dude is too slow. Okay. So we'll do this. Throw out some surges. And the biggest thing about this fight, right... Is definitely being able to break his stats in some way because if you don't you can see that that dark bio is basically keeping us in a healing loop for the entire fight and If you got a little bit unlucky because the HP of your characters is a little bit random you saw that muffin barely barely tanked that and It was entirely possible that she would have in fact died Depending on those roles. Yeah, I think I want to do this at this point just get the AoE so that we can stay out of his range for a little bit longer. And I think I'm going to go down, honestly. So I'll just jump in hopes to miss his turn. Nope, we're going to get that one through. Kind of weird, but it's almost unfortunate in a way, honestly. Now, I think we've given him another three, but they're both still shelled. And... Actually, I gave him four, maybe? No, 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 no just three. There's three. He's going to hit Volanis, killing him. And I'll slay my G and dude, which could be bad if Dead decides to come through right now. It's a possibility. It actually wouldn't be too bad though if I dropped him into critical now. I don't think that I will, but it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Wouldn't be the worst thing in the world at all. We didn't know. The reason it would have been so, it wouldn't have been so bad right then though is because essentially it would have protected Valanis like that because he would still be in the air. I don't think we've hit a single one, so we're probably going to be seeing that critical quick. Probably. Yeah, here comes a three-way. Probably, yeah. So goodbye, Velanus. We can just pick him back up, though, because we have so many healers at the ready. Oh, he, he didn't even die, but he got the dead proc. <laughs> unfortunate. Uh, unfortunate. Now, life should be more than enough. Yeah, and that actually keeps him out of range to be dropped by that next dark bio as well, so that's good. We already saw that my G is still safe. At this point, anyways. It's a little bit unfortunate that we can't get the uh, Dark Holy going. But Leviathan is a close second. Most certainly. Although we can't spam that as freely as usual because dude has a lower strength and therefore doesn't have a very strong chakra. For another 60. Not bad. 
I'm pretty sure that this guy also has innate defense up and magic defense up, so he's pretty bulky. He's pretty bulky for that alone. Because we should have, like, decent compatibility with him. Also, you don't really want to break his Brave 2 too much, though. Or not Brave, excuse me. You don't want to break his stats too, too much, though, because if you do, he's going to start using a lot nastier skills. Which is why I still want him to be tempted to go for Dark Bios, but I don't necessarily want him to be so tempted that... My God! <laughs> with the RNG in this game, there's no way we haven't hit at least one of these. Come on, man! <laughs> But yeah, I wanted to be tempted to go for Dark Bio. Because if we break him just a single time, then it's really not that dangerous. Uh, it can, of course, proc dead. And if we lost all of our revival at the same time, it would be horrible. But we're not going to let that happen, basically. This is going to be a close one, I think. But right here should be the spot. Bring ourselves out of range for Dark Bio. He can just punch Velanus and probably will. There's no way he can reach her. No way. Oh, no way! <laughs> Oh no, I need to... It's what we were kind of lining up for, because I know that if I don't... If I don't restore these guys, that's it. But it's very risky because, well, for one, this. So here comes Loss, which I can clear with Stigma Magic, which we picked up on Dude from the last map. And that's really nasty because it's a 100% confused AoE. Uncontested. We can't even clear it, really, because... Okay, who's coming up? This was the last move that I wanted to see. <laughs> really... Okay, we gotta shoot her. We gotta break that. Do not get the mule near proc. Thank you. So we've dropped him by 30, so he should only really have like a 40-ish. Well, actually, I don't know. I think he might honestly to God have like 100 brave. There's the dark bio. Nobody's in range. But an untimely dead. Oh! Oh, oh god damn it. Oh god damn it. How do I come back from that? I think I lose. Like, straight up, I think I lose. I can't revive yet. There's no point. And because of that... Oh, here's the Nightmare, yeah. Oh, wait, what? Well, undead. Or does he have a defense ring? I actually don't think that he does, though. So what the hell is that all about? I mean, there's no way I can revive everybody. That's the thing. Can't be done. Not from... Not, not like this. Kill him! Kill him! <laughs> somehow! That's my only hope, man. Is for him to somehow just fall over dead. Nope, that's game, because I can't... Yeah, I can't bring him back. Oh, unfortunate. Unless he just somehow falls over, but I doubt 12 whole damage is going to be the deal breaker here. So this is not a fight to be underestimated, clearly. Clearly. Oh, he has... <laughs> no way, that's a cool combo. I'll give you that. Uh, terrifying. Terrifying. I didn't know we could do this. <laughs> what? No way. No way. <laughs> oh god damn so we're not re-watching that entire fight because this is very long so we'll just come back to like some point or another <laughs> okay so I made Valanis over into a Lancer let's try this again huh he's, he's like statistically he's the same except now he can use armor so he has way more HP that's the only thing that really changed about this so I think that this I think that this is our way yeah, I don't know how much of this we're actually going to be showing on the second time. Uh, but, I think that this should be just as well. I really want Dude to be the monk for this map because she needs to get up to level 5 if she's ever going to unlock Samurai. And since this map is so long, sick as to how this guy has a billion HP. <laughs> that was one thing that I kind of... I, I remember remarking on that in my first playthrough. Can he kill her this time? What is that roll? Oh my god, really? Why didn't he kill us last time then? What? That makes no sense. Didn't he fail to kill? I swear he did. Well, we gotta break his magic then. Like, immediately. <laughs> immediately. What? What was that? Yeah, I do remember that I kind of felt though these guys have a little bit too much HP, but this time it's... Uh, honestly, it's adding to the challenge right now, so... <laughs> I don't know. Some of the other ones, though, get kind of out of hand, I would say, but... I can't even revive, though, because I'm just going to get dropped again. <laughs> so if he can just do more damage sometimes, I, why? Is his faith random? I guess his faith is random. I didn't think it was. I thought he just had a fixed faith. I assumed he would just have 100 faith or something like that. But I guess there's variation, because why else would he be able to randomly just kill us that time? When we saw Plain as Day on the first attempt, he couldn't kill us in one hit. Just Let's just spread out. 
We have to wait so we can hopefully catch those revives. We broke his magic immediately, if nothing else. Here comes a nightmare. Okay. Cool. Why does it do undead now? I swear it was sleep and death sentence. I guess this is a different version. Why is my G almost dead? <laughs> Man, all these questions. All of these questions. So, right. Stigma magic. Man, does that fix undead? Because <laughs> that's really bad. That's really bad. It doesn't. Oh, God. Oh, God. So, how do we beat undead then? I think I have some holy waters, but I've never seen him do that. Oh, wow. Maybe I pick up, like, Reflect or something, though, because... Oh, uh, that would prevent full life. And that's going to be important, I feel. Without a doubt. Okay, so now these two. Okay, good. Good, kind of. <laughs> I do have one holy water. Which I may need to use. We gotta pick up my Jeep. And since that guy is magic broken now, we should be able to get away with throwing a cure to both Muffin and my Jeep. Which should keep them alive. Or so goes my theory. And you can see how important it is to get that magic break, but I guess I guess once we recover a little bit, then we can start cutting. Because that's, that's really sketchy, man. So this goes through, no problem. They're both back now, thankfully. I'm guessing he's going to full life, but we do have holy waters. I think that holy water... I think the holy water can hit dead units. I assume. I hope. I pray. Here comes. No, he's just going to go for dark bios. So we're getting a little bit of recovery. Don't dead me, though. Come on, man. There we go. <laughs> okay. So now we have a fighting chance. You're not going anywhere. I'm going to have to give them these two again. Yeah, I'm going to have to, but he can just punch her, though. That's what sucks. But I don't see an alternative there, really. Uh, if I don't... If I don't let him just do that, then she's going to die to Dark Bio anyway. So, like, what difference does it make, really? We can clear that, at least. Uh, let's move to the corner, I suppose. Yeah, spread out, for sure. We already saw how bad that could be. And I, mm, this might be bad, though, because I think I just gave him loss, though, didn't I? So maybe I should have just used Rejuvenate just so that I could prevent that. I think that would have been better in hindsight. Yeah, he's going to just drop Muffin. Probably. Oh, he's going to go for my... Oh, yes. That's what we want to see. I think. Unless he gets the dead. He got it on her, but that's fine. That's fine. He's even going to turn his back to us like a fool. The madman. Yeah, we're going to break him again. Or attempt to. If I power break him one time, that should be enough. Again, don't drop his stats too much, though, because then he just uses nothing but loss, and that's horrible. Oh, I don't have the ability to do that. I shouldn't have moved then. What am I doing? Yeah, I forgot my MP. It's horrible. <laughs> At least he managed to hit two of those so far. So there's always that. I think the big thing we learned is that we never, ever, ever want to hit Leviathan because it costs way too much MP in this case. It just does. These spirit surges, though, seem to be doing all right. Got an instant life. It's so hard to it's so hard to know because you can't see the dang CT on this guy. I actually don't think there's anywhere I could go that he can't get three, but he also can't kill me, so it's like whatever really. What can I do? <laughs> I need her back sooner rather than later. Thankfully, because she has such high HP, we can just we can just do this. <laughs> I definitely want to keep stacking these as much as possible. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere with that. 45. 45 brave loss. Honestly, I'm thinking at this point we go for the slow and steady win. Seems like that's the way. Yeah, just throw that right there. Don't go anywhere, really. Don't want to chalk with just yet because we've already seen loss is horrible. <laughs> loss will lead to a quick one. That's for sure. And I think that was my big mistake, right? Letting, me, letting him even get that status off on me one time was way too dangerous. He might get a move. Yeah, he gets a move. I think it's kind of good to give him the option to Dark Bio, though, because if he doesn't, then... He'll start throwing out Undeads and crap, which is way worse, in my opinion. Nice block, dude. Sweet. This is really my only beef with Dude as a monk, because even though she has good with some of my dudes, it's like, man, 17 MP at a time, that's barely allowing us to get a cure off. One cure, one life is all it takes before that paltry little amount is spent, so that sucks. <laughs> It should be a fine spot. 
And we can even attack him a little bit. Yeah, you can see even as a thief, a lot of this is basically equally as strong as just about anything else I could be doing. I don't think I can avoid it. I actually don't. So we're going to move here. And keep the Mock and Strike train a rolling. Come on, let's go. Yeah, look at this. Oh, yeah. So now at most he has a 40% chance to critical quick me, which is still not ideal. But it's better than a 100% chance to instantly get a move once he gets low. Which is what would happen. So that's why we're trying so hard to avoid it. So there's about 400 right there. Does it not let him hit? No, it doesn't. Cool. Cool. Hell yeah. So this is what we want, really. Yes. Yes, this is what we want. Without a doubt. Here we go. And... Move right about here, I guess. Do I need to move? I don't. Let's try to break this guy again. <laughs> Let's just keep him coming. Oh my god, we're sticking all of these to him. Hell yeah. 44%, you say? <laughs> I'm kind of surprised that Dark Holy does anything to him, though. You would think he would be immune, right? I don't know, just something tells me that this guy is probably an evil being. Just a feeling. Let's see this, though. Oh, this is what we want. I love Dark Holy. I'm not entirely sure if it's actually darkness based though, just because it's not effective on this guy. Or just because it is effective, I should say. Yeah, we gotta move here and throw the high potion to my G. Which will give him alive for one more go. And then we can start throwing out cures. We still have enough for one. And we should actually be able to get a chakra in here. I wanna say, yes, yeah, so now he gets the three piece, obviously. Which could be very detrimental depending on dead prox. Oh, he didn't he didn't live help. Oh god, send help. <laughs> yeah, right here. Right here is our way. Gotta hang tight. Ah, do I wanna catch this cure train or what? I think I do. I, I really think I do. But that's potentially three people lost. Oh, I mean, if I don't, he's in range though, that's the thing. So what will they do? Will they go for the four man dead, potentially? Or will they go for the loss, which would probably lead to a loss? Because uh, dude needs to be right there. So that in the event that loss does happen, I can at least fix it, you know. No, no, don't dead me, man. Don't dead me, man. Okay, we gotta spread back out, man. We are, we're way too punched up. That's the huge issue right here. I'm just gonna start shooting on it for chip, honestly. It seems like my best way. I feel like all of this would be a not issue if I was just gonna use, uh, if I was just gonna use Valanus for the, no, if I was just gonna use Bust for this, this would be no issue. And in case there's anybody out there who's like, oh man, why is he making such a big two on his string? <laughs> I'm just messing. I know not everybody has seen this game before, but when one character is doing 60 points for 30 MP as well, 60 HP, 30 MP versus this nonsense, <laughs> it's a huge issue. As you can see, it's multiplicative in this game. It's not Fire Emblem. It's not one for one. It's it's actually a very big deal. One point of strength is like 60 points of damage by the end of the game. So keep that in mind. I know that not everybody has played this game, so that's why I even clarify on that point, because if you only watch the Fire Emblem stuff, you're like, what's one point of strength? It's a lot. <laughs> it's a huge amount. Clearly, as you can see. Because keep in mind, she's like two points weaker. She's like two points weaker is all. And you can see how big of a difference that makes. Her, her usefulness is cut in half, basically. And slowly but surely, we're gaining this ground, though. Slowly but surely, and I do mean slowly. Now, is my G gonna get another go first or what? No, he's not. And our turnovers are kind of out of whack, which is what's really unfortunate about all this, because I can't, like, I can't spirit surge him, because he will, he will instantly drop me. So we just kind of have to play our cards right here. And hopefully no dead proc. It's only 20%er, but if it happened, that would be awful. That would be a horrible look for us. And he's not moving himself, which is what blows about this. Because that's going to save his CT, which is the last thing I want to deal with, man. Just move. <laughs> Make bad decisions. Come on, now. The AI's been doing it all game. You mean to tell me that you're somehow smarter? I don't buy it. And we're back. Again. <laughs> I hate rolling these dice like this, though, man. Because you just know. You just know. Can I get my move in yet or what? No, I still can't. This 
asshole needs to move. <laughs> I guess I need to give him a raisin too, though. Yeah. So we're gonna do that right now. I didn't want to move, dude, because she's so freaking slow that like, if I do, she's not gonna be able to get a turn. But I think our MP has come back to the point that we can start on our offensive again. I don't know if Dark Holy is ever really worth it in this battle because that was a lot of my MP just gone. No, Dad. Okay. Well, at this point, I think we've started to work out a little bit of a system here. We can go for time strikes now, in fact. Just to get a little bit extra chip. 40 isn't horrible. Yep, that's my fear. Dude's not coming through now. She's just not. But we did get him to move. Oh, finally! Look at that! Did you know that I can sometimes actually get damage with my damage dealer? <laughs> sometimes my DPS can be used? I know, crazy, but here we are. Yeah, those, tur those turn orders were just so horrible there for a second, huh? But now that he's on the move again, he's wasting that CT for us. We already broke him down by 75 points or so. Come on, come on. You can tell when he's about to die because the bar, uh, the bar that represents his HP actually does completely empty when he's about to die. But you, you can't see the raw number under any circumstances. Even if I wanted to like try and open the menu or something, the game just wouldn't let me. Right about here. That should be good. We need to heal both of these guys though, I think. And in theory, he should just come back and try again. And here's another Surge. We only got but a few of those left in us, though. I'm kind of scared we might get spent. I need to move her back towards, uh, dude. She needs to get back over there immediately. Immediately. Yeah, I want him to come to me, I think. Makes the most sense. We're still only giving him but two of us at a time. Which is still a risk. Like, made no mistake. That's a pretty big risk. But we have two item users here. Oh, damn, he has so much HP. So much HP. And this, yeah, I still kind of don't like quite how much HP they have. But I, I don't know, it's, I can't say that it's not challenging because of it, because it most certainly is. It most certainly is. I think we're really this desperate for Chip. <laughs> I think we are. Get our MP back a little bit. You can't run out of this stuff, man. The second we run out of MP, it's over, as you saw. As you saw, so that's pretty, that's pretty huge. And I think, though, that if we pull this off, it'll be worth it in the long run because this will get dude through Monk so that she never has to do this again. <laughs> and with this battle being as long as it is, I feel like this is probably our best opportunity, right? Surely. No, she's going to hang out again. I'll move her next time, but I just, I just don't want to right now. I really don't. I want to save as much CT as humanly possible because he has got to be getting there. He has got to be getting there. Come on. We hit him with so many of these. I think we've spent our entire MP bar on Spirit Surges. So that's like 10 of those boys. Uh, no, no, no. We had at least some healing, but... No dead, no dead, no dead, no dead, no dead. Okay. <laughs> God, I hate that move. I really do. You can still tank. You can still tank. Can she, though? I... Honestly, it doesn't matter, because I can just do this. Yeah, they get, I can hit all three of us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Time strike. Let's get that proc, though. Oh man. <laughs> butts has been good here. Like, really, really good. Hey, that's big butts. That is big butts. I like big butts, and I cannot lie. Oh, man. He's basically the only thing keeping us in this, though. Because the second this dude drops into critical, he's going to be way more annoying. <laughs> so here we go. Ooh, nice crit, nice crit. Okay, so we're all back now, thankfully. And I assume he's just gonna go for my G again. Seems like that would be the most logical thing. Here comes the Spirit Surge. We're gonna move Dude in, but we're not gonna, we're not gonna Chakra Burst, basically. Because we need to get MP back to, we need to get MP back to, uh, to Muffin. Gotta. Gotta. Actually, if I just move right next to him, maybe? No, no, no. He can hit He can hit these three, though. In that case. Oh, we can get one off with... Yeah. That's another 60. Come on, now. He's got to be getting to crit right now. Very soon, surely. Yeah, here comes the three-way. No dead, please. Okay. 
Like, don't get me wrong, we can still recover from an untimely dead proc at this point because we have two users of item this time, which helps out uh, pretty considerably, I want to say. But it's less than ideal, <laughs> obviously. Yeah, I mean, he's got to heal himself. He's got one more in him. <laughs> the dude's going to get a workout today because she's going to be running back and forth constantly. <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous, actually. Look at this. Well, look at this. Yeah, I'm just going to keep shooting at him. Don't think we can get a time strike in there, so no need. There, there's like 40 damage right there. Again, we want to stay in range for Dark Bios, though, because if we don't, he's going to start throwing out way nastier stuff, and he might anyways. No, he's actually going to go for Dark Bio on the girls, though. Dead proc. Ugh. That's annoying. And she missed her turn. And dude has terrible strengths. Which is something I never thought I would be saying, but yeah, she has such bad strength that I can't, like, keep her out of range. So instead, I think what we want to do... I can't even do that. I don't have the MP. This is going left. <laughs> this is going left real quick. I feel the need to do this. I feel the need to do a full life right now. Because she will not die in a single hit. And at this point, is there really a need to give him the three-way? Yeah, I think that we do want to do that, though, because if we don't... If we don't give him a nice... What? I guess I missaw saw that. I saw that incorrectly. But, neither of these two can die without an untimely dead proc on my G. No, okay. Cool, cool. Yeah, I saw that dead wrong. In fact, I thought that it said the dude could go before. Clearly, she could not. Uh, at this point, though... Can bring you back. Like so. Let's troll him a little bit. Yeah. Let's troll him a little bit. Although I suppose he can just come over to this side anyways, right? Uh, if anybody, though, we got to chakra my G because he has no MP left. Not enough to do anything meaningful. You know, so I can really appreciate what they were trying to do by making this more difficult because if you didn't play the original game, right, it was quite literally possible to drop him in a single move. If you had, uh, two swords by this point, the ability, and like a martial arts ninja or something like that, you could drop him in one or two hits. Which for, for basically the big bats of the game, right, that's very lame. That's very lame. Now they actually feel like a huge legitimate threat. I mean, it's five on one for God's sake, and he's still kicking my ass. Let that be a testament to their improved quality. Don't get me wrong. But I feel like we have enough of a system at this point that... It's almost kind of brainless in a way, because assuming we don't get unlucky, basically, because those dark bios could technically kill somebody every time it hits. It hasn't been, fortunately, but it can. You know what I mean? But assuming nothing like that happens, like, why does he have so much HP? Because I don't really need to do too, too much differently here. Okay, I see how this goes. We jump you. Oh, I thought I saw how that goes. Oh, no. I mean, yeah, Spirit Surge with you, because it does way more. Uh, throw the cure to the two ladies now, because they both need it. And dude will actually, for once, have time to catch this, uh, this cure. My J can move back over there, and we can just basically do this forever. <laughs> like I said, she's gonna get a workout today. You see this? She's running all over the place. Jeez. But we bring her back. He still has a 3 piece, so he'll go over that. He'll go for that instead of loss. We get 150 right here after everything resolves. He's only got, at best, a 1 in 4 chance to get critical quick. Like, at best. I'm pretty sure he does have 100 brave, though, so maybe maybe I should try to do a little bit better here. Now, he did have some other abilities in the original game that he no longer has, namely Chicken Race. Uh, it does something entirely different now, and if he had it at this point, I would, I would not like this game, probably. Because <laughs> it is a very bullshit ability. Thankfully, he does not have it in this version. Here comes Valanis. Oh, God, he got the 25. Come on. Well, his, his move was up next anyway, so whatever, really. But come on, man. How many times did we brave break him and he still got it? But as it would imply, we're getting down there. Come on now. Come on now. Don't choke it away. That only happens when he's at less than a quarter of his health. So how do we choke this away? <laughs> Now we want to be careful, though. Yeah, we need to be extra careful in how we let him move about here. And with who we're actually getting hits with, because if... 
Because if we get hits that don't matter, basically, then we risk giving him a free turn. Which is the last thing we want to do. He, he doesn't really have a good shot of getting it, but if he did, it could be bad. Yeah. And that's exactly why the mocking strike part was so huge. If I failed to, uh, if I failed to get it early enough on, I would just wait until I did, because the last thing you want is him taking an action every single time you hit him. Last thing you want is that. Oh, he can still get my G from there. That's not great. Yeah, he's gonna die. We avoid the dead proc, thankfully. Now, see, because I said that, I'm actually scared to even attack him. I'm actually scared to even attack this guy. I don't think it's worth to go for anything but Spirit Surges at this point. Uh, actually, if we move one tile in. Yeah, I, I don't want to line up for a loss, obviously. Both the skill and the thing. Should pull him right. That should pull him right. Die. Yes, yes! <laughs> Die! Die! God damn! There it is! I'm immortal! How can I be losing? It's impossible! I can't die until he resurrects. Shouldn't that be until she resurrects, actually? But hey! Suck my balls, dude! <laughs> Amazing! Amazing! We are done! So that definitely took a while. That definitely took a little bit of time. Probably 15, 20 minutes, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> For one fight, though, that's pretty long. Like I say, I can respect them making it more difficult. And God, did they make it more difficult. Do I even need to say? <laughs> Honestly. But, I feel like his HP could have been a little bit lower now. A few hundred, you know. Not, not too crazy, but... Oh, there's the 108 gems. One of the best items, period. Because it boosts every element. Did you guys know that water is an element? <laughs> Golly. And he's the easiest one, by the way. <laughs> so yeah, that fight is very difficult, even if you're prepared, clearly. But the, the, the real trick there, the real trick with that is to just really make sure that you're spreading yourselves out in a good way. It's much better that he goes for Dark Bio, even though it does technically have that chance to instantly kill you. And I assume that it has that because they figured you could just magic break him until he had no magic, right? But it's way, way better to let him go for those dead procs than it is for him to constantly confuse you, turn you undead into full life. As we saw, I didn't even know he had that skill set. I didn't know that was a move that he could make, honestly. I've never seen that. Like I said, I swear loss. No, not lost, excuse me. I swear Nightmare was sleep and death sentence. It, that has to be a new change, because why else does the defense ring protect you from sleep and death sentence? Right? Because <laughs> I, I specifically remember using those before to hard counter that move. And if you let him hit, like, one guy with it, it's fine. So I'm, I'm really guessing that at some point there was an update to the patch. And they changed what Nightmare does, so that's pretty interesting. I guess I'm glad we found that out now. But again, though, the big trick is to make him go for dark bios over anything else. And yeah, the dead chance sucks, but you can combat that in a few ways. You can do kind of like what I did and just have plenty of revival to go around. Uh, plenty of healing, too. That's why we have two priests. So either of them could throw out healing if need be. And uh, you could also use re-raise, right? Which would prevent the dead procs from screwing you too hard. You could get your turn instantly and either heal yourself or do whatever you need to do. Not really sure how much of that second attempt I ended up showing. Probably not nearly as much as the first, because I'm going to be honest, I really want to keep the death counter gag going, just because this game is, woo! When it comes to that difficulty, you know what I'm saying? That, this game gets crazy. This game gets crazy. And I think it would be funny to see just how much, uh, like, the average person actually dies when playing this. And I also don't want to make you guys sit through repeats of everything, you know? If interesting stuff happens on repeat playthroughs, then of course I'll show that, but... It just seems to make more sense to to sort of abridge multiple attempts because, guys, <laughs> if you think the game is hard right now, just wait until we get to Act 4, man. <laughs> wait until we get to Act 4, man. But enough of that. It's you who saved Ovilia. Delita, Black Sheep Knight under Baron Grimms and Hyrule. 
I was sent and high roll. His name is Delita High Roll, so that's that makes no sense. <laughs> I, I assume he's supposed to be saying, I'm Delita Hyrule, I was serving under Commander Grimms. I was sent by Order of Baron Grimms to save the princess. I've returned. Mission completed. Hyrule. Never heard of him. The Baron died in battle last month with with the Ryomoku. What? Yeah, there's just straight up Japanese words in this game, huh? The black sheep were entirely wiped out. That's why I returned. How's the princess? Ah, Khan Babrief. You guys aren't going to believe what they did with this guy. <laughs> you wouldn't believe if I told you. In the original game, he just shows up in this one scene. He's just like a throwaway senator, basically. These guys are basically the Pegnon senators, <laughs> more or less. But, yeah, in the original game, he just has... He just has a few throwaway lines here and there. But no, not at 1.3. <laughs> we can just leave it at that, I guess. Sleeping soundly. She's still exhausted from the long trip. But this guy, though, hehe, <laughs> Orlando. What a G. What a G. Yeah, I misnamed the main character. This right here. This is my G. <laughs> nah, I heard you brought a prisoner. Yes, sir. Bring him. He's also the most badass of all badasses, and he looks like a Jedi. So there's that. Why did you kidnap the princess? We framed Goltana to prevent him from Lazalia. Taking the regency. Who gave you the order? Prince Larg? One of Goltana's aides who wants to join Larg. Ridiculous. No aides would do that. Silence this loud. I'm not suspicious at all. No need. Listen. Who is that? Go on, naturally. Not me, not. Don't say go on. Don't say go on. Don't say go on. Talk now. Don't say go on. Will you spare my life? Alright, I promise. Who is it? Don't say me. Don't say me. Him, Minister Gelwan. Damn it! How dare you! It's a lie! I don't even know you! Who seduced you? The Queen? That's absurd! I don't know anything! Treason is a serious crime, Minister. I said I don't know a thing! Yep, not having any of that. <laughs> Goodbye. Deleted, just doing deleted things, man. Let me say this. We must go to the capital with the Nanten now. Or they may hold you responsible for this plot. First, let's remove Oranas and the Queen. Then get the Princess on the throne. God damn it, Delita, what are you doing? What are you doing, man? Ah. <sighs> And the entry continues. I'm looking forward to next time, though, because honestly, it's one of my favorite battles in the entire game. Uh, it is my favorite battle in the entire game, honestly. It left a very strong impression on me for some reason. It has really kick-ass music, really kick-ass guest unit, too. I know, crazy, right? A guest unit that is actually amazing. You guys wouldn't believe me if I told you what he can do. But... I, I just wish he was a playable character, because spoiler alert, he's not, and it's like, man, the game would actually just end on the spot. He's way better than his dad. Yeah, I said it, he's better than his dad. His dad can't do... <laughs> his dad can't do what he can, man. Larg insisted Ornos was the legitimate successor and had him accede to the throne. Then Larg became something as the Guardian. Yeah, the text scrolling isn't really better even outside that little money scene. You guys did actually tell me, though that probably the reason that uh, the text for Little Money displays so slowly is because the translators for the game didn't get paid a whole lot, so it was sort of an in-joke, and they wanted to make damn sure that everybody, like, you know, everybody remembers that phrase about this game, right? You think Final Fantasy Tactics, you think Little Money. <laughs> and it, it was supposed to be sort of a jab at their employers, I take it. Which is an interesting fact, I'm glad that somebody told me that, because I never really knew that. Now this is the beginning of the upheaval, which would later be called, The Lion War. God, Delta, you nerd, it's like you know the story ahead of time or something. I love these stills, though. I love these stills, and I like that they, <laughs> I'm pretty sure they give you one for every single act. But, with that said, we are now officially done with Act 2. Whew. These last two ones were brutal. The Gate of Lionel Castle is probably the hardest one so far, though, in my opinion. Just even surviving the first round is a trick in and of itself. 
Uh, Kecklin himself. I didn't. I didn't mention his name. It's Kecklin. Or Kuhulin. As I, I think he's translated as Kuhulin in Final Fantasy XII. But he's he's a beast, as we saw. And the revelation about the Zodiac Stones is also a pretty interesting one as well, because the fables... I mean, okay, so in fantasy games, right, like, rumors and fairy tales tend to be true, right, more often than not. But in this case, it's sort of a twist on that, because it is true, but the legend is wrong, right? These are actually corrupt stones of evil power, not holy power. So I, I thought that was an interesting little twist on what is otherwise a pretty standard formula, right? Because everybody knew that there was going to be something special about them, naturally. There would have had to be. But to see that it's actually just straight up evil energy is it's kind of interesting. <laughs> At any rate, that is going to do it for me. So, thank you for watching. Hope that you all enjoyed, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Hey, you Final Fantasy guys are going to love this, because it's two days in a row, huh? Uh, see you next time. Peace.